Hello folks, she's game day in the CFL. Oh man, this week took forever to go by. Man, the East and West finals are happening today. It should be some good football and, and the CFL should be proud. Both places are sold out and uh, should be some hell of a game. Both games I think are going to be wars. Uh, my prediction for both, I'll try to go through them here quick. I gotta have a quick video because by the time I get it up there, they'll, uh, the Toronto game will probably be, be playing already, Montreal game. Uh, they, uh, my computer's so damn slow it takes forever to render video. Anyway, that's my problem, but... Uh, the first game, uh, Toronto-Montreal. I don't know, that's just about a pick em for me. I'm edging towards Toronto. And uh, I think the main reason why is I think Kelly's playing better than Cody for Jardo. I really do. And sort of the opposite situation as last year. Montreal came in hot and had to go into Toronto and beat them. And that's exactly what's happening today is Toronto's hot and they have to go into Montreal and beat them. Last year they Montreal to go to Toronto and uh, Kelly shit the bed through a ton of interceptions and uh, uh, he didn't even want to admit it. I'm not a real Kelly fan. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people don't even want to play in the CFL. But let me. That being said, he's he's been playing pretty damn good lately, and I like their defense. You know, on the line that is their defensive line. I think uh, Montreal's got a better back end. I like Sankey, and I like that Beverett, and I like that Duque at safety for Montreal. They got a decent defense. I'm just giving it because of their defensive line and how they got after quarterbacks in the second half. Uh, Montreal, they got a damn good squad too. Good defense, like I said, the back end's unbelievable. And the offensive line, my, Toronto's got one guy ailing there that's played right tackle. He's a game day decision. Plus, uh, Toronto, I think, has that uh, Coxie. He's a game day decision. And plus, Montreal has that uh, Mac. He's a game day decision. There are two good receivers, both on one on each side. But like I said, I'm just giving the edge to, to Toronto. I think it'll be a close game, and both of them will be. The turnovers, who can turn the ball over the most and stay on the field with their offense. Uh, Montreal, they got the home crowd advantage and they got those damn horns. I don't know how those horns are legal. Really don't. You know, you read the rules and you can't have no mechanically operated noisemakers and I don't know what the hell they would call that horn if it's not mechanically operated. You gotta pump them to make them work. And it just, it's hard to even ignore on the bloody television. Eventually you get used to it and just block it out, but it must be really tough on the, on the fan, on the players. How the hell they hear is beyond me with those things. And Winnipeg will have the same problem the riders will have. The same problem with big time noisemaker. Oh, look at Ryan. He's got a squirrel. Oh, yeah, Ryan, you got him. Yeah, yeah. Ho, oh, ho. You got him. Good boy. That's a good sign for the riders. You're hunting them good today. Just like we're going to hunt down Zach Calaris. We're going to hunt him down today, folks. I sure the hell hope so. 
Of course, you know who I'll be cheering. Look at him. He don't like that. He can't pull the tree down. Look at that squirrel. He ain't up there. Yeah, I see him. You're going to get him, aren't you? Oh, boy. You're wound up today, too. That squirrel, he's right there. Okay, what, where was I? Yeah, we got to hunt down Zach big time today. That's where I'm giving ourselves the edge too. I think our line, oh, D line is gonna come on big time. And, uh, you know, hopefully our O line can hold up with Reed going down, but, and the crowd noise will be big time too in Winnipeg, big time. Uh, kudos to the Bomber fans for filling the place, especially with all the competition they have in town with you know, the Jets are playing today. Goes to show you how powerful the CFL and the fans in Winnipeg are. They got uh, the Jets to move their game up. To not coincide with the CFL game. That's a lot of power for you Montreal. I mean, you Winnipeg Blue Bomber fans. And both, both Montreal filled her up too. They don't have as big of a stadium. Ah, oh, what else? That's about it. That's my predictions. Of course, I'm taking Saskatchewan and uh, and I'm taking Toronto. But I think it's both going to be both going to be really close, close games. And I'm really looking forward to watching both of them. Uh, either way, you know, win or lose. Oh, got a biker here. Hi. Hi there. How's it going? Good, good. Cruising along. Cruising along. How's yeah. going riders, eh? Yeah, yeah, go riders, that's for sure. Yeah. That's what I'll be cheering for today. Okay. Big time. Okay, have a good day. Good but anyway, it'll be close. Uh, like I said before, it'll be up to turnovers. Are the big thing in the playoffs and, and all big plays, you know. Who's going to get the biggest plays and who's going to stop the biggest plays? course that's who's gonna win and that's why I'm giving us the edge on defense is because we've turned the ball over and if we can continue that right into the Grey Cup we got a good chance of winning that too it's gonna be it's gonna come down to which teams have the biggest heart both East and West final and you gotta have the biggest heart and biggest desire to want to win. They're pretty evenly matched, and everybody's got to go out and do their thing and play their position and uh, limit the mistakes. Bloody train here again. I hope you can hear me over this noise. Anyway, I better shut this down early here. I might not make too long a video. It takes too long to get up. And. Uh, I'll talk to you after the game. Either way, I'll be crying. Win or lose. Uh, of course, crying harder, I think, if we win, to tell you the truth. Because it's been a good year for the riders, and, uh, and uh, hopefully we can keep the rider dream alive. And uh, it'd be so sweet. Anyway. Let's win this one, boys. Let's win this one and breathe the bombers. You can do it, boys. You can do it. You can do it. Go, riders, go.